two feet behind you, which is the first thing we do is make sure this line stays behind. Um, let's think about how we could fall, right? So if I'm in front, go ahead and come outside towards my knees more. So if I'm in front too, one, up. If I fall, if I fall, fall forward, your hands are here to protect me, right? Because I can push off. Mm -hmm. Now, if I fall backwards, I could really hurt myself, right? And the only way that I can protect myself from falling backwards is to keep my hooks in. That's why when we're in a throne, I've got to hook that in. That way, if I fall back, I can use that to leverage my stuff from falling backwards. So that's why the hooks are really important, right? And a common thing is um, sometimes you'll fly a new flyer and they'll hook it behind you. Really common. But that doesn't really help them from falling backwards because mm -hmm. they'll just slip right off. It'll protect them from falling forward. But that's why we want to hook it forward this way, because if I do fall forward, I have your hands to protect me. Um, so that's why we hook the feet from the front. So if you have a fly, hook it from the back. Have them suggest that they hook it in the front, because that way they can protect themselves from falling backwards. Okay. Right? And also, if they're up there and they're, they're hooked in, if both legs are hooked in and I'm falling, their fly is falling out and they're still hooked in, they can come down on you and crush your legs too, because everything's hooked in like that. Mm -hmm. So you want to, uh, in my opinion, start with easy throwing first when the feet aren't hooked in, where you're supporting their feet, mm -hmm. and that way they're not wrapped. And if the fall area falls, um, their feet are out in front of them, they can just land on the feet first. Okay. So let's do easy throwing from here. This is the easiest way I found a base throw, right? We'll go over here, by your ear. You're bringing your feet up towards my butt, right there. You're going to grab my ankles, and on one, two, you push me back, and then bring your feet at 90. Perfect. And then now we can adjust where your hands are underneath my feet. Good. If I fall, I have my hands to protect myself, right? <laughs> yeah. Good. Let's do that again. Right there. So with me as a flyer, I'm going to push into your hands. Have you something have have something for you to push off of, right? There it is. Good. I'm sitting straight. A common thing is flies will sit up. I think it's good for a fly just to really sink in into your feet. It, it kind of creates a feeling of weight coming down and um, centered right around your feet there, right? Good. I'm going to try to find that 90 with your legs. When you come down, you can just bring it back the same way I came in. Over down? Yeah. So I think that's the easiest way to get in the throw. Now, if you have a brand new flyer that has no idea what they're doing up in the air, it's a good idea to um, have them try throwing on a belly base. You remember how we mm -hmm. did that? Where you're on your tummy? Here. So from there, you just bring your feet up, and then I can start practicing just wrapping my legs so before we do the wrap throne, the throne with the wrapped legs, which is called straddle throne, I believe. So if I'm wrapping here, I can practice low on the ground first. So I know if I'm falling, I know like how to brace myself and how to unhook my feet as a flyer. So if you have a flyer that hasn't done thrown with the hooked feet before, have them do that with you on the belly. Okay. Um, position like that. That's about it. Okay. Throne. okay.